Well, hello, friends and family and fellow YouTubers. We want to welcome you to Jim's in Town Gardening and also Bella's Legacy Rabbitry. So this is Monday. Um, you're going to see this on Tuesday. All right, it will be posted on Tuesday. I'm not sure when you'll see it. But um, today I'm going to do the rabbits that I have for sale, and there is a bunch. Um, so I've been trying to figure out what the easiest way, you know, instead of taking each individual rabbit out, um, some of them I will, um, and then some I'm going to show you um, through their cage door. So give me just a minute, and I'm going to show you Baby's Babies. The, um, or I'm sorry, uh, Mandy's Babies. Um, now, Mandy's Babies were born January 12th. And I know I've got two females in this group, and I know that the rest are, are boys. I'm going to be taking the girls out. Uh, one of the girls is the black one, and the other one would be the uh, uh, yeah the chestnut colored one. So give me just a minute. Okay, so you can see in this group they're all pretty much chilling. Some of them are laying down. Some of them are uh, eating their hay. Beautiful, beautiful day. I'm going to raise this up just a little bit. Okay, so there's two black ones, and I know one of them is a female, one's a black, uh, is a, a male. Um, I know this fawn-colored one is a male. Um, the tortoise one that's way in the back, I know that's a boy. So on the uh, chestnut ones, there, one of these is a girl, one of them's a boy. Like I said, I am going to separate these out um, today. It's long enough. They need to be separated. Um, they've done well together. Um, I had really hoped to, in some of these swap books that I advertise on, I was really in hopes to get pictures of them. Um, and I haven't done that yet. So, anyways, we'll get that done today. These are a sweet group. Um... Very calm, very calm rabbits. Okay, babies, good girls, boys. Okay, and then we have Lily's babies. Now, Lily's babies will turn eight weeks on the uh, 28th. Um, I will be taking her out of this cage and probably either tomorrow or the following day. Um, and a lot of that is so that, because I know that there's people interested in these, um, I want to give the babies a chance to be away from mom first. You know, that's going to be a, a transition for them. And then... Uh, you know, once they go to their their new home. Let me see if I can get this one out of the way. There you go. Come on, honey. Come on, bye bye. These are beautiful. Um, and these are um, full racks. Beautiful babies. Should have done this a little bit earlier when they were out hopping around in the cage. This little one eating right there by the blue dish. Sweet. And then there's a darker one right behind. I love watching them steal each other's hay. <laughs> hey, babies. Okay, and then we have Sugar's Babies. Now, there's four of these, and last night we checked. Can you guys get up and move around just a little bit? Come on, I'm going to make you world famous. Come on, sweeties. There you go. Oh, Dad, don't move me. I'm comfortable. Come on. Yeah, the babies. We did our uh, way up um, yesterday on these guys. And I sexed them at the same time. And these are all girls. All four of them were girls. Now, Sugar had seven out of this litter. And 
three didn't make it. Um, so anyways, like I said, these turned eight weeks old yesterday. And they're a, uh, a calm group. Okay, and then we have uh, Daisy's girls. Daisy had seven. Um, these are the girls. She had four girls. Now, Daisy is my California New Zealand doe. Um, and I had bred her with Smokey, who is my Rex buck. These have been sweet babies, too. Now, Daisy's babies were born uh, December, I believe it was the 18th, 18th or 19th. I know there was a gentleman who, I guess he's following the channel. Um, I got a text from him yesterday. Um, he was looking for, I'm not sure if it was one black female or a broken female. Um, so I do have a black one in this litter and a black one in, uh, in Mandy's litter. Hi, sweetie. Good babies. Okay, and then we have baby's uh, litter. These are the uh, Red New Zealands. Um, she's a uh, white New Zealand, and I bred her to Rex, who is my red uh, New Zealand boy, big boy. These turned eight weeks uh, Saturday, so these can go. Hey, babies. Oh, these sweet little babies. Yes, they are. These sweet little babies. You know, so... If somebody was looking for a big pet, um, you know, these guys, you know, they're calm. Um, they are going to get big. Both mama and, and dad are big, so I'm sure these guys are going to be huge. Or if you're looking to start, you know, a foundation. Um, I love watching them when they lay down like that. Um, anyway, sweet babies. Okay, and then Daisy's boys. Um, she's got two like this. Um, you know, these have been fun boys to work with. Um, they're on a, a bottom cage, and I do have to be careful because they're a little escape artist. You know, one of the things about my 30 by 30 cages I don't like is they have the, uh, the bottom open um, type door. And... You know, when you're trying to get in there, if you don't have something to hook that up to the top, you know, if you're trying to take one of the babies out or, or a rabbit out, the other thing, easy, easy, boy, um, you know, trying to put the hay balls in. Um, they're right at the door, and you'll start to swing it open, and they'll get their legs up on it. And um, So I will probably convert all those doors to the, the side open ones. I like those a lot better. Easier for me to work with. Oh, baby. Good, baby. So let me get the other uh, silver one, yeah, and I'll be right with you. Hey, sweetie. Good, baby. Yes, you are. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. This is going to work. You're definitely a boy. You're definitely a boy. Okay, so this is the other one. This one's a little bit lighter in color. Beautiful boy. Beautiful boy. And all three of these are uh, are calm boys. Good little baby. Good little baby. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Good boy. Okay, and then we have one left, um, and that's the little otter buck. And he's a sweetie. He is really a sweetie. So be right with you. Mm. 
Let me see my little sweet boy. I just want to double check, make sure you boy. Yes. Just double check, make sure you boy. Definitely boy. Yes, you definitely boy. Yeah, so here he is. He is beautiful. I just love his marking. Right from the time he was born, it was like, oh my, we got an otter. And he is a calm boy. And I do I definitely need to trim his nails. That's something I haven't done with these guys yet. Can you look in the camera? Can you look in the camera? Sweet boy. Oh, sweet boy. Oh, easy. Let's see if I can get your belly. Let me show you belly on the camera. Huh? Can we show you belly on the camera? Yeah. Just beautiful. The marking on the, the neck. Okay, okay, okay. Hmm. All right, sweetie. Shiny. Good boy. Good boy, yes. Okay, so next I'm going to get uh, probably Misty. I wanted to keep this video as short as I could. I know I've got a lot of rabbits to show. Um, and like I said, with some of them, you know, it's easier to show in the cage. I know you're not seeing all of it, but you can kind of see them in their natural, you know, habitat. You know, you can see that they don't all run away from me. And um, with these boys, where they're in the bottom cage, um, it was easier to take them out so you could see them. Good boy. So I'll be right with you. Hey, baby. Okay, so you've all seen uh, Misty. Sweet girl, this was uh, baby's baby from last September. What you doing, baby girl? What you doing? What you doing? You come see me? Come on. Beautiful girl. I know there's been a lot of comments from people from far away um, with her. She, she is a beautiful girl. You're on the wrong end, honey. What are you doing? Hey. You're on the wrong end. Come on. Come on, Daddy's hand. Come over on Daddy's lap. Come on. That girl. That girl. Bump, bump, bump. Pretty, pretty girl. And let's see. The last one would be uh, uh, Carlos. And I'll get him. I haven't shown him for a bit. Okay, so here we have Carlos. Now, Carlos is, uh, oh, he's got to be over a year old now. Um, I can't remember. I don't have that date right in front of me. Um, if somebody is interested in him, I can, I can give you all that. Now, Donna is his mom. Donna is a uh, Lionhead Mini Rex bred to Blue, who is my Blue uh, Mini Rex boy. There was somebody interested in him way, way, way back, and I never heard back from the people. Not sure what happened, and that happens often, you know, when you're selling the, the people away. You know, oftentimes until they've actually come and looked and you can kind of get a feel for them, you know, if they're true or, you know, if they're really serious or not. Oh, sweetie. So you can tell I beat my, I beat my rabbits. 
tongues. Go baby. Yeah, let's go baby. He's a, yeah, he's a he's a sweet boy. He'd make a good a good pet. He just you know, normally he's not like this. Um you know, not that I'm stressed when I'm doing a, a video. Um, and it's not that I'm nervous or anything. I mean, I did radio for quite a while, uh, back when I was younger, you know, I'm not afraid of being on a camera or speaking to the public. Got over that fear a lot, a lot of years ago. Um, but there's something, they sense it, you know, normally I can pick these guys up and I can just make of them. Um, you know, this little boy, he, uh, usually loves to be made of. And right from the time that I opened up the door, um, you know, he went to the back of the cage. It's just not like him. Um, so there's something that they sense. You know, maybe it's when I bring the tripod out. Um, you know, there's something different in the barn. Misty, you know, Misty is usually right at the front of the, the door. And as soon as I sat down to get her, she didn't want to. So anyways... So, that's what I have for sale at this time. Um, there's quite a few rabbits. And, like I said, I wanted to keep this short. I'm seeing running time is about 3, 31 minutes. Um, a lot of editing I can do going from cage to cage, so I can shorten it up some. Um, a lot going on here. You know, this is our second day in a row of being in the 60s. I know we're going to get back down into the 40s for a few days, but um, I haven't easy hun. I haven't done my rabbit um, tray clean out yet, and this will be the first time this year that I've been able to take the trays out and pressure wash them, which they desperately need. You know, that calcium build up. Even though I clean these every day, um, every day, every other day. Um, the pressure washer just helps lift off a lot of that stuff. That and the outside of the cages. So excited to do that this afternoon. Um, and then as soon as we get some real warm weather, um, every one of these cages are going to go out and uh, be pressure washed, sanitized down. Um, and that will be good for the spring until fall. And then fall, I'll do the same thing just before winter, late fall. So, if anybody in this area, if you have any interest in the rabbits that I showed, um, get a hold of me in the comment box. Um, some of you know my cell phone number. I'm not real comfortable about leaving my cell phone number in these videos. Um, I get enough spam as it is. So, not knowing what it is, um, just drop me a line. Drop me a, a comment and we'll get a hold of each other. Um, there will be a couple litters later on down the road. Um, of course, Layla's litters, that's, uh, that's only about a week old. Uh, Lily, uh, da, uh yeah, <laughs> Mocha. Mochas are only about a week old. Uh, boy, we had a scare last night with Mocha's babies. We came out and did our seven o'clock, um, Water, bottle check, hay check, just overall check. Leanna feeds her apple treats at that time. Got done with the apple treats. I was finishing up with the watering and, and haying. And uh heard this scream. It sounded like cats fighting way off in the distance. Well, I knew which direction it came from. Well, and it was from Mocha's litter. And I'm thinking, what in the world? Well, one of her babies had obviously crawled out of the cage, got in between the uh, the urine guard and the, the nest box. So I, I got it real quick, and it was cold. And it already started to stiffen up. I was like, oh, my gosh. I had waited for this litter and waited for this litter. I, this was a litter that I really wanted. The first breeding that I did with the two didn't take. Um, and, and I would I put a lot of that on Adrian. He's... It was his first time. Um, anyways, um, automatically I put him up underneath underneath my T-shirt. I had a uh, 
my green jacket like I always wear. Um, and I always put off quite a bit of heat. So I said, well, I can warm them up real quick. And had more chores to do. So I, I took him out because I wasn't even sure if this this little baby was still alive. And I took him, I had him on his back, my hand, and I saw his back legs come up. I was like, this bunny is still alive. So I said, you know what, rather than to do this, I'd rather have it where it's going to get that instant warmth. So I put it right back in with its siblings because it's somewhere up over 100 degrees in there with all that fur and the hay. Finished up chores. We went and made of everybody and went back to it. Well, I went back in and, and there was more life in this little baby. So I put it back in. I had to be in a ministry room last night. So went there, came back out here. It was about 10, 1030 just before I went to bed. And uh, was fine. This morning came out, there was movement with all, because I can't tell you which baby it was, um, but they were all nice and lively this morning. So that was a scare. Um, and as we were leaving the barn last night, I said, you know, it was Mocha back when she was in uh, the same cage where Lily is now. We had come out, and her kids would have been somewhere around a week old at that time. Leanna and I had come out to do night chores that night, and my trash can, which is in, I normally have a bale of hay in it. That's where I feed off of. Um, I walked around there. I came around this way. Leanna came in behind me and snapped the lights on. Well, I happened to look back, and down on the floor, here's this little baby. And it was one of her babies that had crawled out. I don't know how it did it. The front of these, is actually, all three, three of the sides on the uh, 30 by 36 cages have the urine guards on. Same as a baby saver. And uh, what I'm going to say happened is the baby had come out of that nest box, crawled, mama was probably laying right there in front of it, crawled on her, and then out through the cage sad and then fell i'm gonna say that's over four feet onto the floor and crawled a good four feet to the other side of the barn i i mean you know if we hadn't have come out when we did both nights on that litter last year and this litter tonight if we weren't out there when we were out there we lost two babies so you know, that's one thing, you know, when you're doing chores, and, and I don't care what animal that you're, you're raising, goats, sheep, pigs, you know, be watching, be watching, have your ears open all the time. Um, you know, one of the things that I like to do is after we're done, after I'm done doing morning chores, is I just, you know, walk down the line and, and look in every cage and just kind of watch what they're doing. Um watch their reactions to things and as you get to know your rabbits you know you're going to see things that you know just are different um you know and it could be a telltale sign of something early that's happening and you know you can deal with it then you go two or three days without paying attention to every single rabbit um you may lose them um and I could go into story and story and story, you know, Melania, um, many of them, you know, here spring's coming. Um, when spring and the heat starts coming, you know, you're going to have flies with rabbits, with any animal. You've got to watch for, uh, you got to watch for that, you know, so it's not going to be long. I'm going to have, uh, my fly strips in here. Um, make sure that your rabbits are clean. And it's why I moved uh, Misty. Misty was in a, a cage down there. The water bottle, because she's one, she's always moving around in her cage and it constantly drips and it was dripping on the, the resting mat, which is an area where she's always at. And that's why I wanted that resting mat there. Well, where she had sat on a wet resting mat, um, her underside was constantly wet. So, 
you know, if we were into uh, fly season at that time, that could have been a very dangerous uh, situation. So she got moved. Um, she's in a uh, 30 by 30 now. And I'm really hoping that somebody will call on her. She is a sweet girl. Um, I think she would make somebody an awesome pet. She loves attention. Um, and more attention than I can really give her right now. Um, she'd make a, a really good breeding doe, I think. You're going to have a good-sized doe. Um, knowing who she came from, you know, both her mom and her dad, um, you know, that could be a great foundation. So, anyways. All right, I made this long enough. Love you guys. Thank you so much for your your support. Um, appreciate every single one of you that come to these channels, or both my channels. Um, thank you for the ones who encourage me, you know, and then there's ones that I know who have been praying for me, and I thank you so much for that, too. Love you guys. God bless you.